All right, y'all. Josh here once again. Josh Lawn Landscape, just doing some maintenance um, on the quick track. Well, I say maintenance on a quick track. Um, swapping a part that hopefully will fix the surging issue, possibly. Um, and I got to thinking about this the other day. One of the guys at work mentioned uh, maybe one of the coils might be going bad. And I got to thinking about it that I had previously, when I changed the spark plugs, um, one of them was wet. So I got to thinking, well, if the coil's going bad and it's not firing, it might not be burning off the fuel in the cylinder, which might have been what made that plug wet. So I picked me up a coil, and I know somebody's going to say when you change one, change them both. But um, I'm going to change this one, see if that fixes it. And uh, we'll plan to shortly thereafter. The dealer had one, so I got that one. I'll have to order another one. So um, I want to start off before I get too deep into this. I'm going to turn the camera around and say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Um, I've got some merch stuff that I've got ordered and some I've got to order so that I can put together to do a um, just a simple giveaway that I've been talking about for months now. But uh, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Uh, leave me a thumbs up in the comment. So let me turn the camera around and talk about it real quick. Um, show you what I did. I've actually already done it, so it's easier than I thought. And then I'm going to take this thing out and let it uh, go for a run and see if it starts acting up. So hold on. All right, so here's the quick track. You can see... Um, this is, you can see I got a new boot here because this, this uh, is the old assembly. This is the coil. So it's a complete assembly coil with the boot. And this is the side that had the plug that was wet. So um, these are actually just fuses. There's a 10 amp in each of these and a 30 in this one. Um, the coil is actually right here. You can see, and then there's a plug on it right there. And there is one, see it right there, one 8 millimeter bolt that holds it on. Again, that's an 8 millimeter, so quarter inch ratchet, 8 millimeter bolt. And I took a small screwdriver just to help kind of pop these out. These you can do pretty easy by hand, but uh, I'm lazy sometimes. And then pop this plug off the coil itself. So you'll unplug it off of the spark plug and unplug it from the harness here take your eight millimeter bolt out there is if you can see what well, you can't see is behind this wire but right there it has a winged it's like a clip-in holder and you just kind of have to squeeze it and wiggle it out um and it's just got some uh v-shaped kind of ears on it and it pulls kind of pops out of there so um that's about the most aggravating part is getting that to come out of the cover here. So you'll get that out and then you'll just simply unplug it, plug up the new coil, uh, snap this uh, back around the bottom part of the boot. You can see it's right above the bottom, right there. And then kind of squeeze it together, pop it back into the holder, which holds that in place. Uh, reinstall the 8 millimeter bolt here and put your boot back on to your spark plug so um, that's it pretty simple fix you probably five six minute job once you get your tools out uh, nothing major to it so that is how to change the coil wire or coil assembly coil unit on the um, Kohler EFI engine on the Quick Track 652R. So, and there are two. There's one there, obviously. Like I said, I had to get another one. The other one over here. Maybe a little more aggravating. I'll probably just take this clamp off and it'll free these hoses up because it's sitting literally right there. Um, and it'll just be the same thing on it. You can see the little clip wire on the bottom. So, um, be prepared to uh, lighten the wallet a little bit because these are about $150 a piece for these coils. So I'm going to go give this thing a run and see if it fixes it. So I hope this was helpful for somebody. Um...
If you haven't done this before and you may be thinking this might be a problem, I think a guy was having trouble with a Kohler engine intermittently cutting out on him on a Z915E. Uh, it was in a Facebook group I was in, so I mentioned something about this uh, to him. And going to see how it works for me. And hopefully it's helpful to somebody down the road if you ever need to change the coil on this particular engine. Um, so... Once again, thank y'all for subscribing. Thank you to everybody who has liked and commented on my videos. And um, if you haven't yet, once again, please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you think. Y'all be safe. Be kind. Be blessed. Catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.